Zach approached me and had a really specific take on the character. I wanted to do a guy who was not 25 and mourning the death of his parents and deciding to become a vigilante, but instead as a guy who had been a vigilante for 20 years and was feeling like, what's, what's the point? Is it worth anything? He's lost along the way, a lot of his friends, and he's kind of become really reclusive, as you would imagine. And when he's Batman, he's really able to confront that pain in a real way. Like, that's therapeutic, you know? And so being Batman is where he feels the most in control and the most sort of in control of himself emotionally. Ben brings that intensity that we haven't seen in the Batman. The Batmans that we've seen in film have been kind of graceful and very efficient, but there's a real anger that the brewing inside Ben's bath. What Batman Superman, I think, explores in a totally new way that we've never seen before is what would Superman be like in the real world? Like, how would the real world react to Superman? The sort of third character in the movie is media. And it's the third character now in all of our lives. And I think it's an interesting way to see how Batman perceives Superman, because he doesn't know who Superman is. All he knows is the public face of Superman. There's no winning anymore for Superman. He's starting to see that every action has a reaction. There's no such thing as just purely being good all the time. We really wanted to start to talk about what the reality of just saving people and, and sort of intervening would mean. Like the classic idea with Superman is that he wouldn't do anything too political, but in truth, it's impossible in the world not to. It's a political world. Everything we do is political. He's still trying to do the right thing and do the right thing by everyone and ignore the slings and arrows. But at the same time, try and find an understanding and get a closer connection to humanity. He has a connection to humanity through Lois and Martha and through Jonathan as well when he grew up. But essentially, this isn't about Superman. This is about the world in which Superman exists. The movie uses a great unifying thing, right? Martha. They both have a deep connection to their parents, whether their parents are alive or dead. And that one word, Martha, I think is a really cool connection. They share that. And they obviously share a lot because they are, despite their differences, at the root of it all, they are allies and friends. Superman and Batman certainly entered the superhero business from opposite roads, and yet they have similar histories. There's the loss of your original family, so they're both orphans. And I don't think Batman sees Superman as human until he realizes that he has a mother. And I think when Batman makes the decision to rescue Martha, that's Superman's mother. In a way, he's redeeming his own sense of powerlessness that he had when he could not save his own mother. Those are huge emotional tragedies when that happens to somebody. But out of it comes life-changing decisions about how you look at the world and how you want to maybe try to reshape it. So for Batman and Superman, they may go about it in different ways that puts them at odds with each other. Ultimately, they may find some commonality. We get to use it to reflect upon how maybe it's made them more similar than they acknowledge at first. Those ideas are rooted deeply in the canon, and I think they're, they're timeless. On the outside, it looks like one of them represents supreme light and the other one represents supreme darkness, which is at the core of every human heart, there is this conflict between what Lincoln called the better angels of our nature and our dark side, our shadow. That's really the heart of, our, of the conflict of our story. Everyone's two sides, and we are all day and night. There's moments in our life where we're optimistic and hopeful and we're inspiring or inspired. Superman surely embodies doing the right thing. And there are moments in our life where we are fearful and angry and paranoid. And, and Batman, you know, if you pull back out of the darkness, he actually is a, he's a very strong, compassionate hero. I think he's also an inspiring figure. That's the common ground. People probably think they overlap this much, but they, they overlap a lot more than they do. In a comic book superhero, you get an idealized perfection, but also shows our vulnerabilities. And I think that's why they endure, because it is our modern mythology that we use to understand the world in some way. <laughs>